Hello, this is Michelle from Wooly Rhino Crafts, and this video will show you how to attach Mr. Midnight's eyes using a running stitch. You can find links to the pattern in the description below, as well as some other pertinent links you might be interested in. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, of course. And I have two completed eyes with pupil slits and highlights stitched on. I tied off the ends in the back, trimmed the tails, and I'll be attaching the eyes using the long tail I left from making the iris. First, you want to pin the eyes into place. I like to use bobby pins. They're super convenient. I always pin pieces into place before I attach them, especially if there's two pieces. Um, like ears, eyes, you know, arms, legs, sets of two. So I want to make sure everything's in the right spot before I start stitching because it's a pain to go back and take it off. Sometimes it takes a few tries and some adjustments to get parts like eyes where you want them. I don't want Mr. Midnight's eyes too close together in the middle and I want them both to be the same distance from the ears down kind of in the middle part of his face. And as you can see I am not super happy with my positioning. Get your tails out of the way, tuck them under. That's why I like to trim mine, make them short, but I make sure they're tied off first. A, a repositioning and adjustments and a rearrangement of parts like this is part of making plushies. I'm still adjusting. I adjust these eyes for a while. It is better to adjust with your pins then after you've attached it, and there I, I miss the loops with that bobby pin. It's okay. It's okay to change stuff and miss your loops. And I want to move that over. Again, I want to make sure they're the same distance from the ears, on the tops of the eyes, as well as the sides, so that they're um, sort of lined up appropriately on the face. Once you are satisfied, then it's time to attach. I use a yarn needle. I like to use a metal yarn needle. They're a little less flimsy than the plastic ones and it makes it easier to pick up the stitches on the head as you're doing your running stitch. First I insert into the eye, a loop in the eye, and as I do that I go down and I grab a head stitch, then I come back up through the next eye loop. Work down, grab a head stitch, and then back up. Make sure your eyes nicely stretched so it's maintaining its shape. You don't want to lose the round shape as you're attaching. And just grab the nearest available loop on the head. I am now getting out of the frame because I struggle to make videos. It's really hard for me to work on a desk. I normally just work kind of on my lap but I'm trying to make nice videos for my patterns. Um, I work in the back loops only a lot. This leaves the front loops exposed. And they're really good for being the loops you grab as you're attaching parts. I don't always use them. Again, I just use the closest stitch. It might be um, kind of more the body of the single crochet like I did just right there for that stitch. Um, but I do use the exposed front loops a lot. 
Hopefully you can see kind of what I'm grabbing with the in the black for the head. Black is not a great color to make videos with for visibility. And I pull out my bobby pins as I go, get them out of the way so I don't forget them. Sometimes for eyes, I might do two passes around and kind of work up and down in the opposite loops on the eye. Uh, it depends on the project. For Mr. Midnight, uh, one pass around gets the job done. Again, remove your pins. I'm coming up around on the end here. Having a hard time grabbing the head loop. And kind of shape the eye a little bit as you go, of course. And then at the end, I like to kind of work through the whole eye, close some gaps uh, from attaching, and this helps shape the eye as well. Like work back down. Um, any place that looks weird, I'm out of the frame again. I'm so sorry, so you cannot see what I'm actually doing here. Um, and this, this helps just make sure it's attached and uses up some of the leftover tail. Look at that nice round eye. Um, do that a few times, make sure your eye is not going anywhere. And then once you're pleased, then you can pull the remaining tail out of sight with your crochet hook. I'm out of the frame again. I'm learning, I'm practicing, but I think you saw enough of what I was doing to get the point. Um, anyway, that is it. Thank you for watching. Again, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description and happy crafting!